What is up guys, Chewy from ATXTCG here bringing you a booster box opening for Booster Pack Volume 4, Darkness Fable, Wrath of the Punisher. Uh, today is Friday, uh, today came out so I figured I might as well do a box opening for it. This features trust some Dragon World, uh, Legend World and Darkness Dragon World. So, let's see what we got. Life counter for Darkness Dragon World. We got the flag for both Darkness Dragon World and for Legend World. Let's go ahead and open the first pack. Sorry about that. Um, battery was running out, so I had to stop. Still, still first pack hasn't even been opened. Well, just got. So we got Black Dragon Shield, which is basically you only cast this card if you would be dealt damage, and if you do not have a monster in the center, damage is reduced to zero, and you gain one life. We got Gorgon Three Sisters Th Thano. A foil uh, version of Iron Dragon Tarask. Just pretty good card in draft. Cards one gauge, but it has 7,000 with 6,000 defense and 2 crit. It's pretty good. Frost Giant Crimthers. 5,000 attack, 1,000 defense, and 2 crit. And the rare is Abyss Symphony. You only cast this card if you have 6 left or less. Pay 1 gauge, draw 2 cards. You only cast one of these per turn. On to pack 2. Dragonite Musashi. You may only call this card if you have a Dragonite in your drop zone. 5,000 attack, 3,000 defense. And 2 crit. Death Ruler Soulbreaker. When this card attacks a monster, put a card from the soul of your opponent's monster under attack into the drop zone. Uh, 6,000 attack, 5,000 defense, 1 crit. Power of Mythology. Uh, pay 2 gauge. Counter. Choose one of the three following. Either for this turn, all monsters in your field get power plus 5,000, or choose a monster in your field and for this turn that monster gets penetrate. Or during an attack on your opponent's turn, nullify that attack. Black Dragon Fundula. The active ability is pay 1 gauge and destroy this card on the field. If you do, destroy a size 2 or less monster in your opponent's field. Um, Demonic Beast Grandin. It's a size 3, 6000 power and defense. I took crit. Pay 3 gauge. It has the golden skin ability, which is it cannot be destroyed by the effect of spells. And it has death curse, which means all monsters that attack this card are destroyed at the end of turn. And it has double attack. Pack Trace. Center Sword Dragon. If this card is in the center, it gets power plus 2 and defense plus 2. It's a 3 4 for 1 crate, size 1. Divine Armor Aegis, Aegis 5000 power to crit, pay 1 gauge to equip. Damage that will be dealt to you other than from attack is reduced by 1. And it has penetrate. Ooh, nice. A foil death grip. Foil, a death grip is a rare, so this is really, really cool. Uh, I pay 1 gauge, destroy a size 2 or less monster on the field. I got two rares in this pack. Awesome. Spike Shoulder Blazing. You only call this card if you have a card with Spike Shoulder in this card name in your drop zone. Pay one gauge. Size one with 5,000 attack, 1,000 defense, and three crit and penetrate. And the rare is Death Ruler Gallows. Pay one gauge. It has Shadow Dive. 
which is this card can attack your opponent even if there is a monster in your opponent's center and when this card deals damage to your opponent you gain one life which is kinda like life link in magic um, it's 2000 power, 1000 defense and 2 crit Thunder Knight's Palace Sword Dragon size so 1 monster, 6000 power, 4000 defense, 1 crit if there is a card with Thunder Knights in its card name from, uh, on your field, you may call this card without paying its call cost. Call cost is 1 gauge. Then we got... Holy Grail. You only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in the center, nullify the attack. Heroic Spirit. Counter. Choose a hero, monster in battle, and for this battle, give it plus 3, plus 3, and counter attack. Knights of the Round Table Gareth. And the foil is double rare, double air, double rare. It's Knights of the Round Table King Arthur, size two monster, four thousand power, five thousand defense, two crit, pay one gauge to call. And when this card link attacks with another hero, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. And for this turn, this card gets penetrate. So it's pretty good. So first double rare. Demonic Talon Vampire Claw Glaipnir Getter's Cursed Dragon Death Ruler Cremation Has Shadow Dive, 5000 power, one, th uh, one, one crit, and 2000 defense, and it's a size 1 Bloody Moon Dragon Spectral Strike which is when an attack by this card destroys an opponent's monster, deal 1 damage to your opponent. 7,000 power, 1,000 defense, and 2 crit. It's a size 2 monster. Right Sword Dragon is kind of like Center Sword, but instead of getting the power from being in the center, you get it from being in the right. Death Ruler Athena, Athemia, some of that. 4000 power, 5000 defense, 1 crit. Size 1 monster. Famous Sword Fronting. 1000 power, but 3 crit, and it has equipment change. Which means that when you would equip this card, you may return an item from your field into your hand. And you may only use equipment change once per turn. Dragonic Force Field. Pay 2 gauge, for this turn the monster on your left and right cannot be destroyed. Ooh, this card. Colossal Sea Monster Cetus? Cetus? This card has won a lot of drafts. So size 3 monster costs 2 gauge, but it has 8,000 power, 6,000 defense, 4 crit, and penetrate. So this is really, really good in draft. Dragonite Musashi, Death Ruler Soulbreaker, Berserk Guard, it's a counter, um, choose a monster in battle, and for this uh, for this battle, give it plus two, plus two, and counter attack. If there is a symbol guard in your drop zone, you may discard a card from your hand and pay two gauge. If you do, return this card to your hand. Guillotine Cutter. You may only cast this card when you are dealt damage, pay one gauge, destroy an item or spell on your opponent's field. Twin Horned King of Knights Alexander. It's a uh, size 2 with 5000 power, 6000 defense, 2 crit, and the ability, it's uh, one gauge to call, and the ability is that if there are two or more cards with Alexander and his card name in your drop zone, this card gets double attack. So that's pretty good. I mean, you run, you know, what is it, Alexander and stuff? Enchant Wand Dragon. It has one monster, 1000 attack, 6000 defense, 2 crit. Call cost is 2 gauge. If this card is in your field, weapon on your field gets penetrated. 
Fortune Shield. Choose a monster in battle, and for this battle, give it plus 2,000 defense and counterattack. Then, if this card has, if that card has Actor Knights in its card name, for this battle, it gives give it defense plus three. So it could give it defense plus five to uh, Actor Knights. Iron Dragon Tarask, Tarask. Well, um, Great spell Fimble Winter, which is a set spell. When this card is set on the field, put two cards from the top of your deck into this card. So. At the beginning of your turn, put a card from this card soul into your drop zone. When the number of cards in this card soul becomes zero, draw a card. And whoa, dang! This is SP Mortal Sword Durandal. This card cannot be destroyed by the effects from your opponent's cards. This card can can be your buddy. This is a buddy card. Wow, and it's an SP. Ooh, that is. That is beautiful. B E A beautiful. I don't know if you can see the Yeah, there. You can see that. Oh, that's awesome. So it has equipment change. It's a six thousand power, one crit. Ooh, this is it's going to a special place here. I'm gonna put it in a sleeve over here. a really really good fool. Unfortunately I don't run Legend World. Well I don't plan on anyways. So that's probably gonna be for trade. Next, left sword dragon. Demonic Talon Vampire Claw. Knights of the Round Table Percival. Death Ruler Executa. And the rare is Roaring Slash Gargantua Punisher. So this card is also really, really good on draft because it's very easy to get the 5 gauge. And it's very easy for you to be able to make sure that neither you nor your opponent have a monster in the center. Pay 5 gauge, deal 5 damage to your opponent, cannot be nullified, and the damage cannot be reduced. So, yeah. Well, this card cannot be nullified, so that means that the damage can be nullified, I think. Maybe. Anyways. I look up at the ruling because he says this card cannot be nullified, so you're not nullifying. Oh well, it's not an attack anyways. Most cards nullify attack, so I guess it doesn't matter. The point is, this card cannot be nullified. Damage cannot be reduced, so you take five damage, especially in trap. Dark Stalker Dragon. This was uh my favorite for draft because somehow I was always able to pull one, or you know get past one. Except for the first draft where I forgot to buy the call like three times. Anyways, Left Sword Dragon, Iron Dragon Tarask, Knights of the Round Table Gawain, Gawain, I don't know, size one monster, 4000 power, 1000 defense, 2 crit. When this card link attacks with another hero for this turn, this card gets to penetrate. And the rare is Divine Protection Pridwin, Pridwin, it's a 0 0. Shield. If you would be dealt damage, you may pay two gauge. If you do, the damage should reduce by two. The uh, this you can equip this item from your hand as a counter, and it has equipment change, which means that when you play this as a counter, whatever equipment you had it goes back to your hand. So it's pretty good. So we got Black Dragon Dead Hang. Actor Knight's Devil, Gorgon Three Sisters Theno, Lunatic. I like this card. Pay one gauge. Put a card from your opponent's gauge into his or her drop zone. Then, if you have two or more black dragons on your field, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. And our second. Well, is it a second triple rare? No, it's just our first triple rare. We got a double, an SP, and this triple rare. Super Armor Dragon Gargantua Blade Dragon. It's a size 3 monster with 8000 power, 8000 defense, and 3 crit. If you pay 3 gauge to call, when this card is a field, you may choose up to 2 weapons from your drop zone and put them into your hand. The act ability to punish your blade, discard a weapon from your hand. If you do, destroy a card on the field. Just a card, no matter what. So you discard a weapon, destroy a card. When he enters the field, you can get two weapons from your drop zone. That's really, really good.
first side. Dang. Let's see, Viking Sword Dragon. This curse on your field, your monsters are not affected by the effect of Day of the Dragon. So you can play Day of the Dragon, destroy all the monsters on their field or whatever. And you can still attack with three of them, so you can still attack for six. So good. Black Dragon Needle Fang. Divine Stallion Pegasus. Oop. Oh, I'll see Corpse Swallower. Rise Vilger and the double rare is Judgment Day. You pay one gauge. For this turn, all death monsters on your field get critical plus one. You may only cast Judgment Day once per turn. That's really, really good, in my opinion. Center Sword Dragon. The Widar Sarkal. Knights of the Round Table Percival. Death Ruler Burial. This card can attack your opponent if there is a monster in your opponent's center. 1,000, 1,000, and 2 crit. So that's 1. Gargantua Blade Black Smasher. Pay 2 gauge and discard 2 cards from your hand. When, this, when you equip this card, you gain 3 life. This is a pretty good card in draft. Especially if you have weak monsters or just spells that you can't even use and you were forced to draft. You can use this and gain 3 life and it has 7,000 power and 3 crit. So that's pretty good. for this side. Dark Stalker Dragon. Divine Armor Aegis. Ooh, nice. Dragon Vanquishing Sword Balmung. Balmung? This is a head card, quote unquote. It's a foil, too. When this card attacks a monster with dragon in its attributes, destroy that card. And it has equipment change. 3000 power and 2 crit. Fear is Unicorn. And Great Spell Thunder of Zeus. Pay 3 gauge and discard 1 card from your hand and pay 1 life. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Destroy all defense for 1,000 or less monster on your opponent's field and deal 2 damage to your opponent. That's not bad. Not too bad. And the last pack for the left side. Let's see what we get. Forbidding Edge Dragon. So this card is kind of interesting. Reveal this card from your hand and pay one gate. If you do, put this card from your hand into the soul of a dragon seal on your field face down. So you can ensure that you're gonna get that card from Dragon Seal. Power of Mythology. Action Knight's Devil. Dragonic Counter. You only cast this card if one or more armored dragon monsters on your field is being attacked. Hmm. Oh, okay. I can see how. Um, return one of those monsters to your hand and pay two gauge. Destroy the size two of those monsters in your opponent's field. And we've got the rare is Spring Healed Jack. That's really cool, actually. Size one monster, 5,000 power, 2,000 defense, one crit. Mischief Fantastic. When an attack by this card destroys your opponent's monster, put the two card of your deck into your gauge. So you can gauge with this card by just trying it. On to the second half. Let's see. Let me. Quick rearranging here. Okay. I'm good. Fortune Shield. I'm trying to do it this way so. Shadows, shadows. Power of Mythology. Ooh, nice. A foil. Death Ruler of Burial. Destroy Hammer Dragon. When you use the Dragonic Destroy, do, uh. Deal 3 damage to your opponent. This ability only activates once per turn. It's pretty good. And the rare is Armor Dragon Culebra. This card is going to be called to the Sentry. It's a size 2 monster, 7,000 power, 5,000 defense, 2 crit. And call causes pay 2 gauge, put the card of your deck into this card's soul. Has Penetrate and Soul Guard. This is a really good card for drafts as well. Next. 
Black Dragon Shield, Forbidden Edge Dragon, Iron Dragon Tarask, Death Ruler Cremation, and the rare is another Roaring Slash Garganta Punisher. Black Dragon Needle Fang, Dragonite Musashi, Berserk Guard, Actor Knight's Fortune. This card can never be called to the center, size 3 monster. 30,000 power, 7,000 defense, and 2 crit. Pay 1 gauge. It has a Wheel of Fortune ability. At the beginning of your attack phase, play Rock, Paper, Sue with your opponent. If you win, you gain 2 life. Uh, and this card is Death Dragon. Death Gaze Dragon. This is the, the one that became a body rare. It's 6,000 power, 1,000 defense, and 1 crit. Pay 1 gauge to cost. Spectral Strike. When attacked by this card, destroys your opponent's monster. Deal 2 damage to your opponent. That's pretty good. So you use it to kill your opponent's monsters and still deal damage to them. Not too shabby. Death Ruler of Soulbreaker. Gedra's Cursed Dragon. Thunder Knight's pa uh, Palace Sword Dragon. And it's a foil. Frost Giant Hrimthers. And the rare is... Brethren Guard. Brethren Guard, yeah. Pay 2 gauge. Uh, either nullify a spell cast by your opponent or destroy a spell on the field. If you have a Berserk Guard in your drop zone, you may score a card and pay... Two gauge if you do return this card to your hand. It's pretty good. Center Sword Dragon. Dog Stalker Dragon. Divine Armor Aegis. Knights of the Round Table Galahad. And Great Spell Ragnarok or Ragnarok based on the show or whatever. Anyways, you only has a card if there is a great spell, Thimble Winter without a soul in your field, pay 3 gauge and pay 2 life. Discard all cards from your hand and your opponent's hand, nullify all abilities of monsters on the field and destroy all cards on the field. Enchant 1 Dragon Heroic Spirit Famous Sword Hunting, Elixir of Aesculapius, something like that. Um, put the top card of your deck into your gauge, gain one life. And double rare, Gorgon, three sisters, Euralee. Size two monster, 4, 000, uh, 5 thousand power, 4 thousand defense, two crit, pick one gauge to call. If another card with Gorgon in its card name is in your field, this card gets double attack. That's pretty good, especially in draft. I would like that card in draft. That would be a nice card to get in draft, and then get all the common Golden Sisters. Right Sword Dragon. Action Knight's Devil. Berserk Guard. Ainsel's Damage Rebound. You only cast this card if you would be dealt damage from other than an impact. P3 gauge. Damage is reduced to zero. Do one damage to your opponent. Another Abyss Symphony. Awesome. Kinda need four of that card. Black Dragon Death Hang, Viking Sword Dragon, Getter's Cursed Dragon, Guillotine Cutter, and the last double rare, I believe, a Jackknife Berserker. So the good thing about this Jackknife is that it's the it's one of the I think there's only three that you can just call without having a base on the field. So it's the Trial Deck Jackknife regular, then the Jackknife Ten Thousand, but it's a size three. And then this one, um, 5,000 power, 4,000 defense, 3 crit, yep. That's pretty much it. Let's see, we got 7 more packs. Death Ruler Atihima, Left Sword Dragon. 
Heroic Spirit, Death Ruler Execute, and another Spring Healed Jack. Black Dragon Needle Fang, Holy Grail, Divine Stellium Pegasus, Dragon Bank Shade Sword Balmung, and we've got Demon Wolf Fenrir. Size 3 monster, 10,000 power, 7,000 defense, 6 crit. Pay 5 gauge to call this card on the field. It's not affected by the effects of Glabnir and can attack. That's pretty good. Someone pulled it on the draft, and they actually called it, I think, every single game. Granted, you know, it's not that difficult to get 5 gauge in draft. Those games can last a while. Thunder Knight's Palatial Dragon. Demonic, Demonic Talon Vampire Claw. Famous Sword Hunting. Jackknife Gift. Oh, this one you want to have it. Got this one in the whole box, I think. So, what it does is pay one gauge. If you do, use one of the following abilities. Choose some monster with jackknife and discard it from your drop zone and put it into the soul of a monster with jackknife and discard name on your field. If you do, search your deck for jackknife gold reader, put it into your hand. There is a jackknife gold reader on your field, draw a card, and you gain three life. Pretty good. The rare is Eyes Blade Joker. Zero monster, 6,000 power, 3,000 defense, crit, pay 3 gauge to call. When this card is discarded from your hand, you pay 1 gauge. If you do, call this card from your drop zone without paying its call cost. That's good. Uh, enchant 1 dragon. Knights of the Round Table. First of all, Ooh, Divine Stallion Pegasus Foil. Dark Energy. You only cast a card if one or more monsters on your field will be destroyed. Pay one gauge to one of those monsters, nullify destruction, and for this turn it gets counterattacked. And Gorgon Three Sisters Medusa. Three packs left. Black Dragon Shield, the Wood Arts Arcall, Gorgon Three Sisters Senna. How do you say that? Wild Drake, Wild Drake, and Jackknife J Jaeger. Okay. Yes, Snipe. Which is when this card attacks. You may discard a card from your hand. If you do, deal two damage to your opponent. And you have Soul Guard and pay one gauge with this card on top of a monster with Jackknife. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. This last pack Forbidden Edge Dragon, Fortune Shield, Glaipnir, Shield of Achilles. And Dragon Knight Napoleon. I really like this card because although it's a size 3 monster, it has 9,000 power, 7,000 defense, and 3 crit. And it says this card cannot be called to the center. Call cause is 3 gauge. But when this card enters the field, you may call a size 2 Dragon Knight from your drop zone by paying its call cost. That card becomes a size 0 monster as long as this card is on the field. So you can have some pretty good tactics there. Last pack, Viking Sword Dragon, Death Ruler Atahima, Holy Grail, Rune Staff, and What is that? Armor Dragon Calibre, right. So how do I feel about this pack? I think I got a lot of Legend World. More Legend World that I wanted. Because I kinda wanted Darkness Dragon World. But but so it was a big but. Where's my... Where's the big boy? Let's see. Well, for starters, we got Glavenir. I mean, Fenrir. Glavenir is the spell. Let's 
far as the double rares we got Gorgon Three Sisters Uraley, Jagnet Berserker, Judgment Day, and Knights of the Wrong Table King Arthur. So those are the four, five double rares, including Napoleon right here. Triple rares we got Fenrir, this guy. Unfortunately, no triple rares for me. But, but, hallelujah. We've got freaking immortal sword. I can't even see. Durandal? That thing. SP. 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 It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. I like this card. Just how it looks. It looks really cool. But yeah. Um. I hope you like this video. I plan on making at least one more uh, booster box opening for this set. Please comment, like, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next video. This is Chewy from ATX TCG signing out.